Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss in a healthy talk about vomiting of children and babies. It's very common, isn't it? So, uh, occasionally children and uh, babies can vomit. Uh, it will last no longer than one or two days and it is not the sign of anything serious. Most common of vomiting, cause of vomiting in children and babies is gastroenteritis. Um, this is an infection of the gut, maybe by virus, maybe by bacteria and also can cause diarrhea. Uh, symptoms can be unpleasant but child usually start to feel better after a few days. However, persistent vomiting can sometimes cause your child to become severely dehydrated. Occasionally, that can be more serious like meningitis. So basically, uh, now if the child is high temperature, Mm, then of course or other serious sign you have to contact your healthcare professional so you have to close you know keep close eye trust your instinct and contact gp if you are worried if the cause is just tummy bug child should feel better uh, well enough to eat play and uh, their usual self uh, without any problem um, so, in this case, keep feeding them as normal, offer them regular drink, but if they does not seem himself, themselves or like uh, floppy, irritable, less responsive, then they are seriously ill, then you need medical advice. You can contact GP if uh, GP, your child repeatedly vomiting, unable to hold down fluids or you think they are dehydrated like dry mouth crying without tear, urination less or not waiting many nappies and drowsy and vomit may be like looks like green or may contain blood that is serious and vomiting for more than a day or two. Uh, near is, uh, any department you have to go if they are vomiting, develop sudden, severe, tummy pain, floppy, irritable, responsive less responsive call 999 for ambulance uh, uh, if you are living in H in your by nhs you know area or go to the nearest any department immediately if they are vomiting and have headaches stiffness and rash so looking after the baby uh, or child at home in most cases most cases treat your child separately at home most important thing you can do make sure Keep drinking fluid to prevent dehydration. Baby, uh, if vomiting, then you can carry out um, that, you know, um, breastfeeding, um, giving them milk feed. If they seem dehydrated, they will need extra fluid. And ask your GP or pharmacist uh, whether you should give a baby oral dehydration solution. Oral rehydration solution is a special powder that uh, make into a drink contains sugar and salt that replace the water and salt loss. Um, child who are vomiting should keep taking small slip of clear fluid such as water or clear broth. Fruit juice or fridgy juice should be avoided until they are feeling better. If they are not dehydrated, have not lost their appetite, it's fine. Uh, the child can eat solid food as normal. Speak with your GP or pharmacist if you are concerned about dehydration. They may recommend oral rehydration solution for kids. Contact your GP and practice nurse if your child is unable to hold down oral rehydration solution. If the child uh, has diarrhea and is vomiting, you should go to the, should not go to the school or any other child care facilities for 48 hours until after the last episode of diarrhea and vomiting. Okay, so that is a nutshell, a little bit about diet vomiting in children. Hope this helps. Um, we will discuss about uh, another topic next week. Bye bye for today.